This craft activity is based on this wonderful book by Bruno Minari called Drawing a Tree. The book is about patterns in the growth of trees. There are many. We will work with the one shown on the cover, the two branch pattern. To build this tree, you will need the following. Some scissors, some glue, some coloured paper, scrap will do. This is an empty milk carton. A ruler and pencil are optional. Let's do some tree mats. We will need one of these, two of these, four of these, eight of these, and I think you can see the pattern. And we will need 16 of these. You can use a pencil and ruler to mark your strips or you can cut them by eye. Cut your trunk first and each set following should be a little thinner and shorter than the set before. Now let's build our tree. Follow the two branch pattern. Add the two biggest branches to the trunk. Add the next four biggest branches to the first two branches, then the next eight, and then the last 16. And here's our tree built on the two branch pattern. But what if a squirrel ate this branch when it was a shoot? or a storm took a whole bough out one night. So a tree with a two branch pattern may end up looking quite different. Maybe the tree had a longer trunk and short stumpy branches. Or the branches grew inwards instead of outwards. What if a tree that was meant to be this shape grew next to a windy seaside? Then the pattern's the same, but the shape would be very different. Maybe your tree has long, slender branches. Or maybe your tree is a combination of both. You can keep playing with your tree until you have one that you are happy with. And then... you will need to stick it all down. Before you start, take a photograph of your tree because you'll have to move the pieces around while you are sticking them down. I wish I'd remembered to do that. Now we can decorate our tree with leaves, fruit, flowers, whatever you like. For leaves, take a strip of paper and fold it like this. You can draw your leaf shape on one side and cut it out, or you can do it by eye. I made my oranges the same way by drawing around a coin. This tree has brown branches and green leaves, but you can make your tree any colour you like. And it doesn't have to be a summer tree. Here's a winter tree I made from that milk carton, which was silver inside. 